Sheffield. They don't carry fields on. Anyway, Sheffield are going to kick off. Which that's they do. That's until you play them in the next in the next um, away fixture or the next home fixture. Oh yeah, that is to uh, no friends at all. Hopefully they'll soon start finding some holes in them laterally. Thackeray, this one is a uh, awkward little chip which should be covered. Oh, it is taken by Warrington. Warrington will reverse it here. The ball is kicked through and Sheffield are going to have the first score of the afternoon. I think Aaron Brown is probably the man who's gone flying in there, close to the sticks. And Sheffield Eagles register the first points of the championship season. Yeah, interesting one that. I should say Fortune favours the brave. Was, uh, they, they put themselves out there, they put the, um, the and he hacked the ball on and it just happened to drop fall into his hands. So there was a little bit of fortune in that one, but um, you know what the, the great thing is that they're playing at the right end of the field. But to be fair, it's going to come to right this time. That's exactly the way it does come and the big, big chances here of Sheffield and it will be good, it will be a try. For the Sheffield Eagles, it's their second in this game already, and we've only been uh, playing for around about 10 minutes. But Josh Bustek rubs it, it's his first try since one of the Challenge Cup last season against Halifax in that uh, victory back in February. The man from Inverness! Mark has some very complimentary, clever kick from Thackeray, all depends on the bounce here. Who's got to be in there? It is the Bulls! who conceived the third try of the afternoon and Sheffield Eagles, the kick paid off brilliantly and Sheffield Eagles are storming into a 16-point lead here to breach those defences of the Bulls again this is Thackeray now pass is good, so is this one they're manning up over on that left-hand touchline the referee will have a look, it will be another score it's the fourth of the afternoon for Sheffield Eagles who are romping away with this initial championship fixture of the season yeah, they're, managing, they're managing themselves pretty well at the moment like I said, it's the little things that I'm seeing them doing you just see the kick pressure there on Danny Brook the means that that kick gets retrieved Thackeray now could go all the way himself here Flings out the longer ball, and then it's uh, going to be a, a score over there in the far corner. And it's all mm. too easy right now. You know, it, it shouldn't have Farrell been... Farrell diving in. <laughs> it shouldn't have really been as complicated as that. They could have finished it on the first break, but the fact that they've, they've held the composure, they kept hold of the ball, and that's one of the things that he always says. It's away from Brown, the two-try man. A useful kick over here. If this is taken, it's going to be another score. Is it? Maybe, maybe. Yes, it is. It's an absolute thriller of a try. Cover yeah, all the way. That was a, it was a, a pretty smart kick. There's a sort of a, a, what you call a, a desperation about young players because they want to prove to people that they're good for it. And then it's all about attitude. You've got to have the right attitude to exactly play this game that, as yeah. well. You can have all the, all the skills in the world, but if you haven't got the right attitude, you won't make it. The chance of bending them on their line, then it's going to, it's going to start to take its Oh, time. a clean oh, break nice here. Work. There are four in red, storming forward. Surely we'll get another try from this break. If they don't, they will curse themselves. But uh, eventually, the ball is uh, back here, and there will be a score for Farrell. Isaac Farrell is the latest recipient of the... Winning pass, as you would call it, for the try. Yeah, the Farrell well, brothers are both on the score you sheet. You just look at the the energy and the enthusiasm that they showed there. So they broke they broke out from their own 30 metre line did, did Sheffield, and um, and the amount of people that they got in support to be able to keep the ball alive was uh, pretty impressive. Well, they've gone a long while without a score. Maybe this time, and yes, they are. They're in for their first score of the season in the championship. It's Adam Rooks who's on the end of things here. Adam Rooks, that is his and the Bulls' first try yeah, in the championship Bradford, season. Bradford, that's the really, really outstanding and successful. But then they've all had the what you call the leaner patches in, in the times and financially then they start to become and I think a lot of the clubs and they're on the scamper go, again, again here now and looking for another score and this could be a length of the field job and Brown is going to get the try this time Joe Brown's first try in senior rugby league and that's how happy he is and he sort of atoned for the error of only a couple of minutes ago big lad big try yeah just a bit you can see all of a sudden there's a there's a different sort of energy about them now they've got the, they've got their heads up a little bit there's a they're starting to gain, gain a little bit of um, a little bit of confidence in each other and a bit more belief 
And it's Bradford who are come, coming to look then from the third consecutive try of this a scintillating contest. Oh, and Bross pass is intercepted. Now, surely they can't make a mess of this, but Warrens, he wants the ball. He's saying, give it to me. I'm not sure he will get it, because Thackeray this time will not be denied. And it's a decisive score in the uh, the game. He's gone all the way, and doesn't he know it? Yeah, I'm going to say that that's the one that's brought the back. I think that the, the resurgence of, of energy that Bradford was showing, I think that'll be the one that sort of... Uh, Bust that bubble. But the score is not really in their favour, but the, you know there's still there's still good energy about them. I mean, defence is still trying to you know work really Caps hard. Still appearing here. It must be another score. And Thackeray, having got his first, is going to get his second within a couple of minutes. And Bradford are falling yeah, apart. Yeah, they felt. But you know what? They fronted up really well for, for, for three or four plays there, and then they just went to an edge and they got him on the edge. And for the second consecutive match. Bradford Bulls have conceded 40 points. Another kick from Pickersgill, but right into the arms of the opposite number one, Guzdek there. Guzdek had got one of the early scores. He got the second try of the afternoon. There we go, they've got we him on the edge the again. the trend. Is this going to be a full uh, length of the field score? You won't put your Coming money out against is Miller. The, you Miller's going to make money it. Against that, Miller. The ball was supplied by Warren. So it's another try. Oh, he's managing to cut right in to put it behind the sticks. It's the first try of the season for Ryan Miller. Warrens, he gave him the ball, and uh, yet another score here for yeah. Sheffield Eagles, who are threatening to make it 50. It's 10 minutes. Uh, as the hooter goes, it can come back off again. <laughs> well, it's a very, very good victory for Sheffield Eagles. You can tell by the scoreline on your caption there, they've romped away with this one right from the word go. When Bradford failed to capitalise in the early stages, uh, they lost any sort of fluency they had, and it was relentless after that.